Next up is a man who can claim that his song, Chasing Cars, was the most played UK song of the 21st century. Now, Snow Patrol are back with new music, and to tell us all about it is frontman, songwriter, and OBE, Gary Lightbody. Good evening, sir. Hello. Hello. How's it going? You all right? It's a we're, nice shirt. Yeah, we're, we're looking good, yeah. We were just yeah. telling Gary when we were talking during the break, we were like, we've just had a Love Islander take a top off, Gary. Yeah. What are you bringing to the table? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep mine on for everybody's sake. <laughs> there you go. The you're, you're really spoiling us. New EP, Gary Lightbody. It's called Fireside Sessions. Uh, and you were working on it during lockdown, but the process was a little bit different. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, it was it was written on Instagram Live uh, with with fans, with thousands of thousands of other people. They were suggesting chords and lyrics, and um, I basically sort of went on to Instagram Live for about forty five minutes and got them to suggest chords and then lyrics, and then I went off the live show for about an hour and uh, put it all together and then came back on the live show and played the song every week and we did that for 11 weeks and wrote 12 songs two weeks we we got two or one week we got two so um this is five songs on the ep that were written with that process and with fans okay. those fans are now called the saturday songwriters so it's the the official name of the band is snow patrol and the saturday songwriters you say thousands of people so is it hard to kind of throw all the massive collaboration like that all in, down into one song to boil it down um it's it it actually um was a lot easier than i thought it was going to be because right. the hardest bit of writing a song for me is always the lyrics and when you're getting thousands of ideas for lyrics. <laughs> You're grand. It sort of <laughs> cuts, cuts the time down quite considerably. That's great. Were you so, ever um, sitting yeah, there, it, though, with those? Because I know you've had, you know, you've had issues before with writer's block and all that, but were you sitting there when some lyrics were sent in and they were seriously, like, it was a really good lyric? Were you like, damn, I wish that was mine? <laughs> um, yeah, there was, quite, there was quite a lot of good ones, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I say I'm proud of them. I didn't, I didn't write them, most of them, <laughs> anyway, but... <laughs> Um, it's they sound great. There's a great flow to the lyrics. It's quite surprising that that many people can contribute to a song and it all sound cohesive and sound makes sense, you know. And it it, it does. I think people that listen to the EP won't won't think that it was written by thousands of different people. Fantastic. Yeah, it's certainly worth a listen just to, to see what it's see how it turned out. Uh, of course, you're used to well, collaborating. It all, makes, it all makes sense. Trust me, it all makes sense. <laughs> I, I would love it if, you, if, we, if we turned it on and it just sounded like a jumble of notes <laughs> and random words. <laughs> like if you put well, 50 monkeys in front of a typewriter <laughs> and, see how it, and another 50 monkeys next to a piano and see how it turned out. It's not, it's not that. We'd like to reiterate for our viewers that it's not that. It's actually really, really good. Uh, but like I say, you're used to collaborating. You've collaborated, of course, massive collaboration uh, with Taylor Swift in the past. And of course, She's an industry in her own right at this stage. What was, what was it like working with her? It was amazing, yeah. I only worked with her um, once. Mm. I, I did. I, why I thought about that was because I did sing a, a back... A, I was a backing singer on another song um, with her and Ed on it, her, her and Ed Sheeran. But, um, uh, yeah, we wrote a song together and it was great. She was really... Um, there's not really much... I don't. I don't really even need to be in the room with Taylor. She's a brilliant songwriter. You know, right. it's just a matter of being there to support. Same, same as with working with Ed Sheeran. It's like they have so many ideas that um, they don't need. They don't need that much help. <laughs> just love the way you throw the names out. It's like, give me a look at your phone. Right. Who's in that phone of Gary Lightbodies? Um, uh, last year, you received, like, for such a young person, you received an OBE in the UK for your contribution to music. Um, was it slightly bittersweet because your father had just passed away a few days previously, Gary? Um, yeah, I mean... Of course it was, and I haven't... I just actually, this is the first time I talked about the OB because I didn't really feel like it was um, a sort of appropriate to talk about it at the time, but uh, it's... Yeah, it was It was something I would have loved to to celebrate with him. Uh, he would have been very proud, but um, but I, I never got the chance. But, uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was a bit bittersweet, but, um, you know, my mum was... Uh, my mum was over the moon when she heard the news, so, you know, it was, uh, it was definitely... Delighted. Do, do you put OBE on uh, plane tickets and that sort of thing now as well? <laughs> I presume you use it every, at every, every opportunity. No. Restaurant reservations no, and whatnot. No, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't used it yet. I haven't <laughs> used it yet. <laughs>
It's very you, important to get the use out of it, man. You've got to do it. You posted a really beautiful memory uh, recently on Instagram of your dad meeting Bono. How did their meeting come about? Oh, there it is. Um, we, uh, we played Ward Park, which is the park in, in my hometown of Bangor, and um, in May of last year, and Bono was a, spe a secret special guest. He came on to sing. We, we played a, did a cover version of One, and halfway through, Bono came out and guest, uh, guest starred with us. I just moved to the back of the stage and let him, <laughs> let him <laughs> sing. So, this seems to be something of a theme, of the, Gary. Yeah, yeah. My, just let, 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 let the other thought, people do their work, and I'll, I'll be here in the background. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. My thought process was let, let, the, man, <laughs> let the man that wrote the song let sing Bono the song. Let Bono be Bono, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, but before that, on the side of the stage, my dad was um, my dad was sitting on. You know, he couldn't be out in the crowd. Obviously, um, he wasn't very well at that point, and um, he was sitting side of the stage. And apparently, when Bono arrived, one of the first things he said was, um, "Is that Gary's dad?" And he went straight over and chatted to my dad for for ages. And you know, my dad then. Because obviously the rest of my family were out in the crowd, and my dad then lorded it over everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. Any, anyone that anyone that would listen to him, he would tell the story of how he met Bono and no one else did. <laughs> so it was a good, good moment for him. Bono met him more appropriately, I think it's fair to say. Uh, listen, the the, uh, the EP is fantastic. Uh, it's uh, it's called uh, Snow Patrol and the Saturday Songwriters, uh, and the first single we've heard is Reaching Out to You, which is out now, and you can get the EP yourself. Fireside uh, Sessions. Uh, on the uh, 21st of August is the release date for that. Uh, Gary, thanks so much for joining us, sir. You still didn't take your top off. Somewhat disappointing, what you said. <laughs> but uh, there he... <laughs> I thought you were reaching for the top button there. I know, I thought he was about to close it there. <laughs> Cheers, Gary. Stay safe. Mind yourself. Cheers, man. All the best. Bye, 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 bye.